Well, that's what's the crack. My name is Orgy Jet Runner, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. Right, so we just got attacked by bandits while we were working on defense here, and unfortunately, Mark got hit by an arrow. And to be honest, I don't trust his family one bit, not after that fence incident. I think that was actually set up. And to be honest, I don't trust uh, the mom of this house either. I already said that, that I don't trust the family. Whatever, I don't trust any of them they seem way too nice they are very sus very sus indeed i don't know what it is about them but it's just their overall niceness in this situation in this scenario mm -mm. it just doesn't sit well with me anywho let's just inspect the fence one last time no 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 no, no. yes yes here I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Damn right. They probably would have been serving you up on the menu. Be roast Mark and Lee for dinner. Okay, so there's quite a few more places to explore around here. Don't know what's so interesting about this hay bale or this haystack. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Okay, let's talk to what's his name? Lily and oh, you don't seem to want to talk. Okay, we'll we'll talk to Lily. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Uh, come on, it's the safest option we have, Peter. Well, I'll just ask about how you feel about leaving the motor in. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I mean, that's true and all. But still... Oh, uh, shit. I agree with Butch over there. I forget his name. It is a change of scenery. But, again, this family, very sus. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Well, I'll just ask him, or ask her how he puts up with him. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just, he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Okay, no, that seems fair and reasonable. Take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Uh, I suppose maybe kind of. You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Okay, I think we're pretty much done here. Can I go into the barn itself? Oh, we can. But I'll just explore the rest of the barn on the outside at least. Okay, never mind, I won't explore the rest of the barn on the outside, I'll go inside. 
see who's who and what's what. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. You know, that's fair, but can I go in? If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. Okay, right, we're done. We're done here. Okay, I guess I can go in and check on Marky Mark. Or do you know what? I'll check in on Duck and Clementine here. Can he actually kick me? Oof! He can. Right into the face. Actually, no, no, there's a wall. Okay, what about you, Clem Clem? You doing alright? You doing good? Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Oh, sure. Why not? Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? Alright, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Oh, this is sweet. So that was a little bit of small talk. How are you doing? How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Aw, oh, damn it, Lee. You're such a dad, even though you're not a dad. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. I promise of my dead body, of my damn dead body, they'll hurt you. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. All right, Clem, that's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. Okay. Okay, that was pretty useless. I just want to really continue on with the story, but at the same time, I don't want to miss, like, any important dialogue. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Oh, hell yeah, I'm ready to kick some major ass. Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Ah, don't worry, Clem. I've been lucky since I found you. Besides, I couldn't leave a cutie pie like yourself all alone in this, in this uh, big bad world. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's got to be close. You found it? Oh, 
Okay, that was quite. For now, at least. And it doesn't seem like that big a camp. You see anybody? Uh, best be on our guard. Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Maybe they already got killed. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Okay, but this fire looks fresh. Just water. Okay, what can we, what can we, can we gleam from here? Probably not a lot. Nothing. Exactly. My thoughts, exactly. Empty. What about this chair? Anything? Particular about it? Looks like they expected to be here a while. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Okay, leave the kids out of this. Let's not go down that route. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Oh, uh, this looks good. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Yeah. Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <laughs> I'll pass. We've examined all of these, haven't we? Oh no, one more. Oh, here we go, St. John's Dairy. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Oh, and a radio. Oh, no, a camera. What do you find? Video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Uh, yeah, she is, and she's doing a pretty damn good job. You, on the other hand, you sound sketch. Very sketch. Just your tone of voice, your vocal patterns, it's like you've got something to hide from me. But that's just speculation. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Yeah, what about the bottles? Empty. Oh. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Okay. Nothing but fumes. Shit. Examine the tent again?
Here looks to belong to a kid. The blood stained rabbit, that's uh, not a good sign. Oh. Wait, that's Clementine's hat. Don't you fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't oh. know me. Steal my shit. Everything from me. Oh, I we want to know. Deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. The men who live here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girls. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed him, and I'm staying here till she comes back to me, one way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. Into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? Yeah, that's the million girl. dollar question. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Oh no, no, no. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> At first, you didn't do that, ma'am. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for. Oh. Good lord. God damn it. You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. It wasn't really pointed at any of us. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Jeez, that was cold-blooded, man. Come on. So she was saying, I know what you were. So there's... Obviously, obviously, something more devious going on here. Like, clearly, these farm folks have ill intention. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Missing every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Dunno. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? 
Hmm. You could say yeah, that. You could say that. We don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Okay, at least I'm safe. But yeah, how did she get, get Clem's hat? Something about this ain't adding up. And then she said, we stole Clem from her. Maybe she knew Clem? Maybe she was a neighbor or something like that? I, I, I don't know. Things are getting rather interesting. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Hey, go on, pet little moo cow. Whoa. Katja says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Betty said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Why, did you try? Did you lick it? I don't know. I talked over the dialogue, I didn't hear him. <laughs> Did he ask her if she licked it or, or what? Okay, ne never mind. See, that's the thing about this game. It's hard to, you know, do commentary over it or, or do any proper form of commentary because you don't know when the dialogue is going to happen or how far apart it's spaced. It's hard to anticipate it, is what I'll say. Anything in here? Anything of interest? I don't think so. Oh wait, hold on. I want to play in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. <laughs> what was with that face? He went from smiley happy to hmm. Okay. Jesus. Honestly, the facial animations in this game, there's something else. Alright, so let's do some more investigating here. Empty. Okay, that's my investigation over and done with. Wait, was there another one? Yeah, there's this one here. Wait, 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 was I already in here? No, I wasn't, but still there's, there's nothing. Okay, what about this one? I'm thinking all of this is pretty pointless. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Yeah, belonging to who, I wonder. I don't know. I'm getting some Texas Chainsaw Massacre vibes from this. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the barnyard or the barn setting, I should say. And yes, I am a fan of my slasher films. 
I've watched nearly all the Texas Chainsaw Massacre films, even the very crappy ones. Although the latest one, I forget what it's called, was it just called the Texas Chainsaw Massacre or what, but it came out there two years ago and it was just social justice warrior nonsense. And it just ruined the entire film. You found it too, huh? Wait, found what? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? Eh, I'll protect her no matter what. I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, the guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Can I... Get a... Click... Quick, 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 click, quick glance. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? <laughs> oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Shit, I, I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? No, we're good. We're all good. Yeah, yeah we'll just, uh, just check keep it kosher. Barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Okay. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Yeah, you got something to hide. Distract Andy to get him out of the burn. Okay, how will I go about doing that? Guess I can talk to him. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? Uh, just ask if you got a screwdriver. You got a screwdriver? For what? Uh, uh never mind. Okay, that's a bit forward. Why do you lock that door? Because we can't afford to lose our shit to the people in the woods. Uh, they come down here every once in a while and raid our stuff. Even with the fence. Okay, well, we'll just say Danny mentioned he needed something. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Okay, now I gotta find a screwdriver somewhere. How are the kids? They're doing okay. I never did thank you for saving Doc from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Katja. Andy will be back any minute. Please hurry. Okay, maybe there might be a screwdriver in here. Maybe. Just some fence posts. There was a wheelbarrow, but I forget which stall it was in. Maybe there could be a screwdriver in there, possibly. Mm. 
it's a feeding trough. Yeah, no shit. Damn, where am I supposed to find the screwdriver? Now, maybe in here I'm thinking. Maybe in the box. But I don't think so. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smell pretty foul. Wait, maybe I talked to Kenny. Um. What? Okay. Like, I suppose... I could try and find a screwdriver somewhere, maybe. Oh, hey, Andy. False alarm. I'm back. Okay, maybe I find a screwdriver somewhere else. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so. How does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. I, I know I have an axe and I could just bash it off. But I'd much rather go the safe route if I could. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? Yeah, I'll tell her that Kenny thinks there's something. Kenny thinks they're hiding something. I'm not sure what. That there's something going on, I should say. We're starting to get a feeling about this place. I don't know. Maybe we should go have a look in that barn. Whatever you do, just be careful. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. Alright. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. What were you and Kenny arguing over earlier on? What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Hmm, I don't, maybe I can go into the house first and get a screwdriver from... Oh! Hey. Now, here is an idea. Toolbox. gonna borrow this for a second all right so maybe I can do the same thing again hopefully maybe he's stupid there's a baby in there careful don't spook her You would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor end who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? Eh, I'd like to someday. I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. 
You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Okay, now let's see if we can pull the wool over this guy's eyes one last hey time. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Andy needs something again. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. This is definitely going to draw suspicion. Okay, either way, let's get right to it. Okay, let's do this. False alarm. I'm oh. back. Balls. Is there any other way I can distract him? Hey there, Andy. Yeah. So, where do you keep the rest of the tools? Well, if you need something, just tell me what it is, and I can get it for you. Eh, not that important. Alrighty then. Okay, so I think I've exhausted all my hey options there, so far. Yeah. Alrighty then. Uh... I'm rightly confused now. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. Okay, good to know. What about you, Duck? Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> Kids. Oh, you can't tell dirty jokes. Even though that one is as clean as they come. Ah, uh, okay. There's gotta be something. There's gotta be some distraction. What if I guess? Wait, hold on. There's three points of interest there. What's there not? No, one and no, just two. Okay. I think I've exhausted all my options with Lily. Don't think she has anything else to say. Hey, I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Okay, what about you, Butch? You feel like talking to me yet? Can we not be best friends? No? Okay. What if I turn this off, maybe? is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the brakes. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, maybe I can go inside and cause a distraction, but do I have time? We'll, uh, we'll finish talking later. Wait, what? You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. Oh, uh, well, ain't that nice. Uh... Oh, that's curved up, Mark. What's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. 
He can definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. You sure about that? We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Okay, we'll ask her about a woman. Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. It sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. Okay, fair point. Maybe. Although a bit biased. So, what are y'all keeping the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. Think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, isn't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. Okay. Right. What? I'm fresh out of ideas and I am completely fresh out of time. I know I normally make these videos about an hour or so. Likewise, with the Science Hill videos, are about an, an hour or so. But I'm on a bit, bit of a time crunch here between going to gym and going to work and finding some personal time. Uh, it's kind of hard not to have a persistent upload schedule anyway. But you know what? I think. Swapping the format around from short to long, I think it does deliver a bit of variety here and there. Some people might like the long form content, some people might like short form content. Who who knows? Like maybe people don't have time to watch an hour video. And uh, yeah, that that that's really a, about it. But then again, I don't know much about these things, as you know, I'm not a uh, professional content creator or a professional YouTuber, what whatever. Not that I really aim to be. I just do this gag or this shtick for fun it's what keeps me sane to be honest but enough rambling for me guys you know what to do if you did enjoy this video by some freaking miracle be sure to give it a message thumbs up comment favorite share and of course i will see you in the next one so until next time see ya